from the mic. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Am I loud and clear? Yes. yes. Can you see me? Yes. Oh, you're back home. When did you go back home? Uh, it's yesterday. Yesterday. At what time did you arrive at home? Um, 11 p.m. Oh, quite late. So that's why we canceled our class. Okay. <laughs> did you enjoy your stay in the countryside? Um, did you enjoy your stay in the countryside? Yes. Yes. Uh huh. I like to go to. I like go to like to countryside. Yes. Oh, I wish I could go to the countryside as well. What do you like? Did you like most in the countryside? What did you like best in the countryside? Um, riding back uh, around uh -huh. the Is there a river near or around the house? A river? Half a city. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, by the way, don't you have any questions about the result in our test? Do you have any questions? Uh huh. I asked you to re watch or watch our previous classes before the test. Did you? Did you? You did? Oh, okay. Because I think we should have made a review after the holiday. I think it's best if we had a review after the holiday, right? Have you seen the result of the exam? Did you? No, you didn't. Uh, your score in listening is 6 out of 10. Your score in listening is 6 out of 10. 6 correct answers out of 10. Reading and writing, you only got 2 out of 12. Oh, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. And in speaking, perfect score, 12 out of 12. So I think we need to focus on listening, reading, and writing. Or maybe because your cousins were quite noisy when we had the test. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. It's okay. So maybe let's try to focus more on reading and listening. Okay, so our lesson for today is about listening. Let's begin. Oh, please prepare. Do you have a sheet of paper with you? Oh, what's that? What just happened. Do you? Yes. Okay, because some of the exercises uh, requires for you, requires you to write. Okay, listening. What are the things we need to remember? Can you hear me? Yes. What are the things we need to remember when we have a listening test? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Read the instructions before you start each section. Okay. Wait, let me do that one more time. Where is that? Ooh. Okay. I'm going to show you all of them. There. What should we remember before we begin a listening test? Remember read the question. Before or after? Before. before. Yes. Before we listen. Read the questions before we listen. And what can we do to listen uh, to be more fluent in listening? What can we do? Not inside we the class, do, okay? We'll hear the audios twice. Oh, it's about the test during the class. How about outside the classroom? How can we improve our listening skills? Mm. I think there are some tips here. What can we do? I can see the screen. Okay, let me do it again. Maybe it's not clear. Okay, how about now? Yes. Okay. How can we be better when in listening? Listen. Um, listen quietly. Uh-huh. Okay, inside the classroom. How about not during our class? Maybe on your normal hours, normal day. What can, where can we listen? There are some tips here. Uh, listen to radio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, English language, TV, mm -hmm. and postcard. Podcasts. Podcasts. Uh -huh. Do you do any of these? Mm. I listen to radio. You do and... English. Yes, yeah. English. Um, I will hear the audio twice. Read oh. the question. Okay, good job. Always do that, okay, at home so you can improve your listening skills. Okay, so let's begin to the test. So this is just the usual test, not the scoring one, unlike the regular test. This is just a normal lesson. Okay, let me remove those drawings and next, let's go to the next page. Okay, look at these places. Let me do that. Oopsie. Um, I it's not clear. It's not clear. Okay, let me try again. There you go. How about now? Is it better? Yes. Yes. Tell me which places have you visited before? Mm -hmm. I've been to I've been to mm -hmm. school. Yes, what else? You must have been mm -hmm. to a lot of places. Been to um, hospital, mm -hmm. pharmacy, airport. Train station, mm -hmm. um, hotel, mm -hmm. market, supermarket, bakery, cafe, restaurant, mm -hmm. clothing stores, shoe store, 
mm-hmm. and cinema. Okay, thank you. What's the difference between market and supermarket? Market. Market is it. Market is mm-hmm. outside. Mm-hmm. Outside. Outside. Um, what are the things we can buy in the market? Um, what meat, fish, okay. vegetable. Food. Good job. How about in the supermarket? Supermarket. We can buy anything. Okay. <laughs> What's the difference between a theater and a cinema? Aren't they the same? No. Theater have some people act. acting. Okay. And, act, and cinema, we uh, watch. Okay. And cinema can also be called movie theater movie theater okay but when we say theater it's the one you described some people acting on it a play okay next my car is broken where shall i take it broken Uh my car is broken Where shall I take it? Um, where, where, where? The, um, uh huh. The gun. Where? Huh? Like. My car um, is broken. Where shall I take it? Um, <laughs> Look at the pictures. I think you will see a lot of car in that place. Um, it's like... Uh-huh. Louder. Uh huh. There's a man repairing in that picture, and there are three cars in that picture. Which one is it? Um, I don't know to read. Garage. Is that it? Garage. Garage. Yes. Garage. This one, dear. This one. Yes. Garage. <laughs> Next. I want to buy some new books. Where shall I go? Books. Yes. Next. I'm having a trip overseas or abroad. Where shall I go? A trip? Yes, an overseas trip abroad outside the country. Where shall Bus I go? Bus stop. Uh huh. Abroad? Outside Vietnam? Airport. Airport. <laughs> yes. And my, what, what else? I want some cake. And some pastries. Where shall I go? Bakery. Yay! Now we know the different places. Oh, oopsie. Where are we uh, now let's go to another or some more places. More, more places. There you go. Uh-huh. What can we do in a driving school? Who goes here? Driving um, school. Here. Driving school. Mm-hmm. Here. Dressers. Dentists. Mm-hmm. And chemists. Chemists. 
Uh huh. Who goes in the driving school? Who goes in the driving school? Um, like a driving mm -hmm. driver. Yes. Uh, if you want to learn on how to drive, you go to the driving school. Okay. What can we do in the hairdressers? Um, we cut hair. Yes. Wash and hair. you. Uh huh. Okay. There's more. Wash, wash hair. Uh huh. And um. Think, yeah. Make okay. it. Uh huh. Uh, different color hair. Yes. Can you give another word for hairdressers? Hairdresser. Or place name of place for hairdressers. Salon. Salon. Okay. Next, dentist. I think you know what a dentist place is, so no need to explain. How about a chemist? What chemists do they do? Uh, they in pharmacy. Uh huh. What is it? In pharmacy. Yes, they make medicine, or sometimes they make perfumes. They also do perfumes. Those are called chemists because they make new formulas. Chemists. Okay, now let's go to the first part. Please read the instructions. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For question one, two, five, put a tick under the right answer. Okay. Would you please say it one more time? Conversation. Conversation. Yes. Okay. So we've got an example. You already know this example, so we can skip on it. And let's go to the first. How many people were at the meeting? No need to listen. You know that one. You li we listened on that before. Okay. Let me move that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Write numbers one to five. Let's read the first question. What will they eat for dinner this evening? Let's listen. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. What dinner this evening? Wait, wait, wait. One. When? What will they eat for dinner this evening? What do you want for dinner this evening, Maria? We could have pizza or chicken. Hmm. What about fish? I had a pizza last night. Okay. That's easy to cook. Good. Okay. Have you found your answer? Yes. Okay. Number two. What time is it? Now listen again. Two. What time is it? Have you got the right time? I think my watch is wrong. Uh, it's half past two. Ah, uh, my watch says 20 past. Well, it's 10 minutes slow then. Okay, what time is it? Um, listen again. Yes, let's do that. Um. Have you got the right time? I think my watch is wrong. Uh, it's half past two. Ah, uh, my watch says 20 past. Well... It's 10 minutes slow then. Okay. Let's go to number three. Please read question number three. What's Michael going to read? Mm -hmm. 
Is this Michael or Michelle? I think it's Michelle. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Three. What's Michelle going to read? Can I read your newspaper, Michelle? Didn't you bring a book with you? Yes, but it's not very interesting. Oh, here you are. I'll read this letter from John. It's Michelle, okay. What's Michelle going to read? You got it? No. One more time. But it's not very interesting. But it's Wait. not very interesting. Oh, here you are. I'll read this letter from John. Okay, it's Michelle. Remember, okay, take note of that. Oh, by the way, as I always say, look for clues in the question. So in here, it's Michelle. Okay. Have you got your answer? No. No. Okay, but in the test, in the actual test, we can only listen twice. But this time, I will let you listen again. Okay? Yes. Okay. Let's do that. This letter from John. Wait. Didn't you bring a book with you? Yes, but it's not very interesting. Oh, here you are. I'll read this letter from John. Okay. Have you got it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before, as I said, uh, read the question and then look at the choices. This is a book. What's this? What's the second item? Letter. A letter. And the third one is? It's a thing magazine on paper. Uh -huh. Or, it was mentioned in the audio, it says newspaper. So this is a newspaper. You see, look at the question and the choices as well, okay? Next, number four. Let me remove those drawings. How much did the tickets cost? How much? 19? 19. Um, I can see. Okay. <laughs> How much did the tickets cost? Is it clear now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Ooh, where is that? But Michelle. Didn't you bring a book with you? Yes, but it's not very interesting. Oh, here you are. I'll read this letter from John. Four. How much did the tickets cost? Oh, hi. Did you have a good time at the theatre last night? Well, the play was excellent, but the tickets cost $90 each. That's not too bad if the play was good. No, perhaps you're right. Mm -hmm. Want to listen again? No need. Oh, yes, it's a yes. Okay. Now listen again. Oh, hi. Did you have a good time at the theater last night? Well, the play was excellent, but the tickets cost $90 each. That's not too bad if the play was good. No, perhaps you're right. Okay, number five. Uh-huh, let's read it first. Where is the chemist's? Where is the chemist? Okay, so it must be about Five. direction. Where is the chemist's? Excuse me, can you tell me where, Oopsie. where the chemist's is, please? Hmm, just a moment. 
Oh, yes. It's past the post office, next to a big supermarket. Is it far from here? No, just two minutes' walk. Mm -hmm. One more time. Now listen again. Excuse me, can you tell me where the chemist's is, please? Hmm, just a moment. Oh, yes, it's past the post office, next to a big supermarket. Is it far from here? No, just two minutes' walk. Okay, did you find the answer? Mm -hmm. Now let's draw it. It says, past the post office, past the post office and next to the supermarket. So there you go. Now let's see if you got them all right. What's your answer in number one? Is B. Okay, number now two. Now we are ready to start. Let's see what's that? What, what Look at like? question one. Okay, number two. Uh, C. Yeah, number three. What's Michelle going to read? Is B. Yeah, number four. Uh, I. Uh oh, she said, he said 90. 90. It's 90. <laughs> it's quite confusing because they sound the same 19 and 90. Okay, it's okay. Number five. Um, five is C. Yes, next to the big supermarket. Okay, you got four out of five. Not bad. Now let's clear those annotations and let let's go to the next page. Woohoo! There you go. So this is about Kate telling Emma about her family. Where is each person going today? Let's go and listen. There you go. We've got an example. Let me move that one. Let's read the people's name first. Kate's mother. Tanya. Tanya. Len. Tom. Kate. Follow. Okay. And the places are on the right. Now let's listen. Hi, Kate. What about a game of tennis sometime? I'd like to, Emma, but not today. I'm really busy. What are you doing? Sam's got toothache, so I'm going to take him to the dentist this morning. Oh, dear. And then Mother's going to the hairdresser this afternoon, and I... Mm -hmm. Did you get the answer? Mm, no. Is it too fast? Okay, tell me first. How about Sam? Where is Sam going? Is Sam going to dentist? Yes. Okay, so let's go to Kate's mom. What are you doing? Sam's got toothache, so I'm going to take him to the dentist this morning. Oh, dear. And then mother's going to the hairdresser this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Where is mom going this afternoon? Write down your answer. One more time. Yes. Okay. Fake. So I'm going to take him to the dentist this morning. Oh, dear. And then mother's going to the hairdresser this afternoon. And I said I would drive her home afterwards. Mm -hmm. Where is mom going? Continue. Hairdresser. Uh, Okay, next. Then after school, Tanya wants me to help her buy some new shoes. She doesn't like shopping alone. My daughter doesn't either. You're going to the concert this evening, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, when I hear listen again. Yes. Where is Tanya going? 
Then, after school, Tanya wants me to help her buy some new shoes. She doesn't like shopping alone. My daughter doesn't either. You. Okay. So, where can we buy shoes? Shop. Yes! Okay, you're right. Let's go to Len. Going to the concert this evening, aren't you? I'm afraid not. But Len loves classical music, so he'll go. Oh, good. Where is Len going? A Spanish class. Mm -hmm. She said she loves classical music. Classical music. Can, where can we listen or watch classical music? The concert? Yes. So always find details to find the correct answers. So it's in the concert. By the way, has Tom started driving yet? He's having his first lesson today. He's going to the driving school at lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Where is Tom going this lunchtime? Tom is going to driving school. Yes, he is. He's really excited about it. I'm sure he is. How's your father? Does he still play golf? No, not anymore. But he started learning Spanish. Actually, he's got a class this evening. Good for him. Well, perhaps we can go to the tennis club tomorrow. Okay, where is Kate's father going? Tennis class. Yes, very good. So remember to find details, more details to find the correct answer. Okay, there you go. Next. Uh -huh, no need to read. Listen to a woman talking to a policeman and we've got choices tick the correct answer no need to hear the example there you go can you see the underlined words how much what else the bag yes. what time so these are clues, my dear. Always find clues so you can find the answer as well. Okay, now let's read question number 11. Please read. How much money was in the bag? Now listen to the conversation. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Yes. I've lost my bag. Oh, I am sorry. Now, where did you lose it? In the town centre. I had it when I got off the bus. Uh, was there much money in the bag? No, there wasn't. I usually have 40 or 50 pounds in it. But today, I think there was only about 20. Um... Okay, how much money was in the bag? She said, I usually bring 40 or 50 pounds in my bag. But today, I think there are only 20. <laughs> you got it? What's your answer? It's A. It's A, you're right. Now listen to the conversation. Oh, what happened? There you go. Now let's go to number 12. What else was in the bag aside from the money? Was there much money in the bag? They have 40 or 50. Uh, what else was in the bag? Just my gloves. I left my credit card and driving license at home. Mm -hmm. What else was in the bag? Just it's my gloves. gloves. Yes, gloves. Okay. Number 13. The bag was old, expensive or big? Was the bag expensive? It was an old one. It wasn't big enough, really. Okay. How was the bag? It was big. Mm -hmm. Want to listen again? 
Diving license at home. Was the bag expensive? No, it was an old one. It wasn't big enough, really. Okay. Was it expensive? No, it was an old one. It wasn't even big, really. Okay. How was the bag? What's your answer? Oh, it's quite noisy. Can't hear it. Okay. Uh -huh. Where? Let me see the. Oh, she said. Was the bag expensive? No, it was an old one. It wasn't big enough. Really. So, how's the bag? It's old. It's old. Okay, so I think really you're really better in reading, I think. Okay, 14. What time did the woman lose the bag? Now, what time did you lose it? Well, I left home about 9.30 and the bus takes half an hour. So I lost it about 10 o'clock. Right. Well, I'll phone you tomorrow to tell you if we find it. Are you at home? Oh, oopsie. What time did the woman lose the bag? It's 10 o'clock. Yes. Okay. And the policeman says, mm -hmm. I'll phone you tomorrow to tell you if we find it. Are you? Okay, let's listen again. In the afternoon. Sorry, I'm going out until the evening. Could you phone before 10 in the morning? Certainly. I'll call then. Now, what's your number? Okay. The policeman will telephone her when? In the morning. Yes! Okay. Next one. So this is the conversation. Last part, you will hear a man speaking on the telephone. He wants to speak to Miss Dion, but she's not there. Let's take some details from him. Mm -hmm. Look at the chart. Is this a chart or a form? Okay. As you can see, uh -huh. which is, uh -huh. we're going to write... Who is calling from? Mm -hmm. Next, what the meeting is about. What is it about? Time <laughs> and where and what to take. Okay, now we're ready. Let's listen. Yes. Now look at part four. You will hear a man speaking on the telephone. He wants to speak to Miss Dixon, but she's not there. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Lynn, please write your answers, okay? Thank you. I can see the screen. Okay, let's do it one more time. There. How about now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Browns Builders, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'd like to speak to Miss Dixon, please. I'm afraid she's not in the office at the moment. Can you give her a message for me? Yes, certainly. Who's calling, please? My name is Hyde. How do you spell that, please? That's H Y D E. Okay, who's calling, Miss Dixon? Write down your answer. I can I can't hear the the full name. Okay, let me play it one more time. Speak to Miss Dixon, please. 
I'm afraid she's not in the office at the moment. Can you give her a message for me? Yes, certainly. Who's calling, please? My name is Hyde. How do you spell that, please? That's H-Y-D-E. Right, Mr Hyde. Could you tell her that the time of the meeting has changed? Is that the meeting about the new houses? No, about the new factory. Okay, what is the meeting about? New. Write down your answer. <laughs> I see. And when is it? It's on Wednesday at half past 11. Mm -hmm. What time is the meeting? Can I listen again? Hinting about the new houses? No, about the new factory. I see. And when is it? It's on Wednesday at half past 11. Does Miss Dixon know? Okay. It's on the Wednesday at what time? Next, where? Yes. Oh. yes, where? Where the meeting is? I think so. It's in our main office. Ask her to go to room 21. Mm -hmm. Which room? The number of the room. Right, I'll tell her. And could you ask her to bring the photographs with her? Which photos do you mean? She'll know which ones. Okay. He asked to take something. To bring something. Tell me when you're done. Okay. So, who's calling? What's his name? Is. Mr. Hyde. Hyde. Would you like to spell it? H Y D E. Okay. They're very important. And Don't then, worry. what is the meeting about? Meeting about new factory. Factory on Wednesday at what time? At half past. 11. Yes, or 11.30. And, or where? Uh, room 21. Yay! And what to take? Um, a photograph. Yes, photographs. Yay! Perfect score. <laughs> okay, so let's review. Let's review the things we need to remember. When... Oh, no, did I close it? Oh, no, I didn't. The things we need to remember when we take a, when we take a listening test. So remember to read the question before answering. And then, oh, not a let's one. Mm -hmm. Read the instructions carefully. Read the questions before you listen. Okay, so I think you're already good in listening. Just a little imp improvement. Maybe what just happened in our test is that it's quite noisy around you. So you cannot focus very much. Okay, but I think you did very well. Mm -hmm. Okay, that would be all for today, Lynn. I will send your homework after or maybe tomorrow, early early morning. Okay, thank you so much, Lynn. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye.